Hopefully enjoys the video, but lost me. Just such stupid YouTube comment rage, stupid bullshit, and people hate it. And I kind of wish to the ground there for a second. Now he's dead, and this guy coming up is going to be dead. And his friends are going to be dead. And his dog might be dead. I don't know, something of this is going to be dead. Seriously, bullets. Thank you. And there's the next ship, by the way. Can't really get a good B on it from here, but... You get the point. I need to use this gun for this guy. So far, so good. Now, from knowledge, I know that someone always gets stuck on this roof here, so... Not too worried about that right now. Kill this guy. And his friend. And now the guy on the roof. Yes, the guy on the roof always gets stuck on the roof. It's worse when they're crouching, because then you actually have to parkour up there to get to them. And yeah, it's kind of annoying. Only mildly, but still. Something I shouldn't have to do. Okay, now the boat is literally right there. And there's the generator gone. There's two boats down. I don't even need to explore the rest of this area, because there's only one to go, and the rest of the fish are inland. So there we go. Like I said, so far so good. We're blasting through this area fairly quickly. I could be going a little bit quicker if I wanted to, but I'm not a speedrun pro here. Nor do I ever plan to do speedruns, because that requires a shit ton of practice and training. And while this is going to be technically my fourth time doing a full playthrough, or doing a playthrough of Borderlands, it's, yeah. Going to be something. So yeah, there's fish right here. I believe there's fish right there too, and that's the last couple of fish that we need. So basically, we take this out, we shoot this guy in the face, he dies, then we turn the corner here, and we shoot this guy, and this barrel. We just let the damage stack up. And then when everyone started dying, we can just turn here, shoot these guys, let the burn damage kill him, do some sneaky sneaky, some pot shots, he's dead. I fell there, but no worries, because there's a ramp right here if I can manage to walk up it properly. Grab some fish. One fish, two fish, red fish, and blue fish. Except it was still red fish, but... Pfft. That should be an achievement in this game. A Dr. Seuss quote should be an achievement in every game. Not because I grew up with Dr. Seuss, but just because it should be. Pay tribute to Dr. Seuss. One fish, two fish, and a Okay, you can stop streaming now. Maybe causing brain damage. Okay. That's gonna explode. Fuck, no! Well, I saw that coming. I was like, fuck, and then I exploded, and I was like, no! Fuck! Is that where I spawn? Um. Somewhere I don't want to be Oh, I still have to sink the last ship, that's right. So I guess before I leave, I am forced to sink this last ship, because it'd be very stupid of me to leave this area before doing that. And here's basically where I died at, so we're not that far along. So, final ship, here we go. Shall we just take an RPG to it and call it a day? I think so. Stupid health thing. Whatever. Oh boy. No, no, honestly, those things would be a lot more useful if this game was actually hard. Which it isn't. It's just. I die a lot of stupid deaths right now. Like, I didn't die as much as Mordecai. I will say that much. Then again, that's because Mordecai didn't have an ability which set everything around him on fire, including barrels. 
I, mean, I still think it's stupid that my ability does that, because I can very easily kill myself with that. I think that's kind of ridiculous. I can't get through there. So now I feel stupid, because I just fucking almost jumped myself into a hole, but whatever. We're out. All we need to do now is just parkour over this, and we should be good. Mostly. Yep, we're good. Open the washing machine for loot. And we should be good as gold. We'll open this for the fun of it. Probably nothing I want, so I'm going to check it, so... There's probably a legendary in there. No, there isn't. It's fucking shit. I knew it would be shit. I don't know why I looked back as if I was expecting something. Don't expect anything from this game. You always get shit. Okay, instead of using the pasture, I'm actually going to go this way because we're going to go try and do the tournament. Why not? And we're getting close to the one and a half to two hour mark. So yeah, like I said, it's going to take a while. I figured it would take a while to get to uh, the Rack High because they threw in a shit ton of side quests. Like, between these main missions here. Even though it doesn't... It, it, you could literally probably... I could have probably killed the Rack High like 30 minutes ago, to be completely honest. Oh, if I completely ignored side quests, but... I did not, so... I'm just gonna base walk past all of this shit. And when I'm safely out... Okay, walk through the damn gate, seriously. The fuck? That's pissing me off only because now I expire ants on me. That didn't need to be on me. I could have fucking out exit phase walk right here. That would have been fine. But no, of course not. So the tournament's in here. They're all ships respawn by the way, so. And true bash we're gonna kill all this shit. You'll be dead. Yeah, you're a blazing person. Fire damage is going to do shield to you. You're a bunch of amazing people, so... That's why I have this gun here. Back up for assholes who refuse to take fire damage. There we go. I don't understand how you're not taking fire damage already, but whatever. So here's the tournament. I'm going to set my quest to the tournament, because why not? And there we go. Round one of Next Circle Slar. Uh, which could probably be each from the rats. I forgot these guys come down the hill like assholes to fucking kill you. Because that's exactly what they are, they're assholes. No, oh, it's just kind of a stupid place to put the tournament. Like, bandits all around you that will fucking attack you while you're training shit in. It's just generally a dumb idea. And I'm just gonna... I don't want to buy repeater pistol. I want to call my rifle. Stupid asshole mouse. Whatever. Buying ammo in this game is stupidly hard, by the way. Because you can't just click anywhere on the fucking menu to buy it. You have to fucking... Actually... Shift to the OK button, which... Takes for fucking ever in this version. Because the most real scroll speed is only going to go like at the speed of fucking molasses on this menu. Like, it's so freaking slow, it's annoying. But compared to here, like it's so fast that it's like, what the fuck? Why is that a difference? Why can't you just like, you know, stabilize them across the menus? Like seriously, why can't you do that? Okay, so we're gonna fight this thing. Which there is an exploit to this, which I might end up using for the third round, depending on how fast full it ends up being. So I do have phase walk, so it's not as bad. More high, I'd be having a lot more trouble. Don't forget, I'm almost down again. I just got a second win somehow. No worries. That was worse start. Shoot the guy, seriously. Come on now. 
basically, the best thing to do is you try and, uh, watch your six as best as possible. Where are maniacs coming towards you? Just basically, watch where we have them. Throw grenades as necessary. Otherwise, you're gonna have a bad time. Just remember to use your transfusions, and you're pretty much good. Just use the resources you're given. It's the best I can say. Okay, it's quite possible to do this, like, by yourself, but it's kind of really hard. Okay. And like I said, if you're ready to on health, transfusion. Okay, if you really need the extra time, just phase wall. If you need to buy time for your shield regen, transfusions and that, just do that and you're good. So that was round one of what will probably be many rounds of pain and suffering. That was the easy round, by the way. Which I died only once, but mostly due to my own stupidity. Yeah, round one's not hard. Round two... This is where the badass, like, brutes and shit will come in. Or the fucking super badass ones with the fucking mecha helmets and shit. And watch these side doors here too, because sometimes shit comes out of them. Uh, they have rocket launchers. I was worried about that. Okay, so I need to use my transfusions here. But a few times in the game as well, I'll actually use the transfusion. I guess it'd be in the face of a scud missile. There's not much shit I can do about this, in all honesty. Because, in all honesty, my vision is now obscured by fire, and I'm dead. See, this is where the fucking tournament gets unnecessary levels of difficulty, because they can literally one-hit you. And it's kind of really cheap. But whatever. This is where you can very easily also buy, like, a shit ton of grenades and shit, like, in between rounds. So you never will run out of ammo. You might lose a lot of money, but you'll never run out of ammo. So whatever. I just, just got a free trip to full health town. And this house is just normal brutes, so it's gonna be a lot easier. But yeah, there's gonna be, like, a ton of brutes and, like, Shit like that. Okay, one of them has a scud launcher. That guy actually has a scud launcher. So if you see one with like a freaking like missile launcher or something, you wanna get rid of him first. You also wanna deal with them like as they get closer to you. Because you don't wanna get surrounded by these guys, it would be bad. If you start losing health for a transfusion. If you start losing a lot of health throughout some transfusions and, and enter your baseball cord. Dying is bad. That's probably easily predict. Ah, ten people will suggest that dying is pretty bad. Okay, there's a guy coming around the corner here. Yeah, he always got me with a missile there. As a matter of fact, I think he did. Right in the face, too. It wasn't pretty. So yeah, because these guys are assholes, they only take a ton of bullets. What you want to do is when you get into a corner, just phase walk. I just double tap. Fuck. I'm in trouble. No worries, I can take out this guy. This guy, I think, might have a step on. Cool story, bro. I was like completely like out of the range and everything. And about me. Yeah, I'm not getting you down. That was bullshit. That's what I'm gonna call that. It's like, oh hey, my health's going down, even though I'm clearly behind the wall, and I'm dead because of that. That's fucking stupid. So this is where this tournament gets infuriating. Because I'm basically, like, two levels away from the maximum fucking level in the game. But it's very easily doable. That's the thing. That's what makes it so infuriating when you die. It's just a matter of not getting fucking rocketed in the face. As stupid as that sounds, that's literally all it is. Just don't get rocketed in the face and you win. As 
well. Rocket launchers in this game are underwhelming. They're really only underwhelming, basically, if you're using them. If they're using them, they're, they're fucking good because your health isn't anywhere near as good as theirs is, apparently, for some stupid reason. And that's a badass. Uh, someone's got a scud launcher or a grenade. There's that guy over there. It's got a scud launcher. Throw some scud. And then he'll send out midgets and stuff. Which... They're midgets. You get what you pay for with that barrel. You pay for midgets, you get midgets. The problem is this guy's got a rocket. And he's not afraid to use it on my face. So basically what you want to do is you want to keep track of his position his fire damage as a radar. You basically want to play some uh, ring around the rosy with him. Until you win. I think I kind of got lucky there too because I think some of the waves actually didn't reset properly. Which is actually a problem with this tournament because if you enter it again too quickly before 